Hi everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil Does 3D. I'm a multimedia and a 3D artist and I stream live on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Time in the United States. That's 11 a.m. if you're in Australia or 1 or 2 a.m. if you're in the UK or Europe. I hope you guys and girls are well. Smurfberry Bleak Blop to you too. <laughs> Remember guys, if you miss the live streams, you can catch up at any time by clicking the videos tab on my Twitch channel. Um, and also if you want to join the Feldas 3D Discord server, click that link help which pops into Twitch chat or go to the About Me section on my Twitch page and you'll find an invite link in my panels. Uh, we're going to continue working on a game called The House in the Hollow. We're working on the main uh, estate gate for that game. If you want to wishlist it, you can click the link. Hellforge has helpfully popped into Twitch chat. Or again, go to the yeah, go to the About Me section on my Twitch channel and look in my panels for a graphic that will take you to the Steam Store page. And if you want to know who I am and know more about me and what I do, you can go to my website, which is my Twitch username, Feldas 3 d with a .com on the end. Or click the link Hellforge popped into chat. Good morning to you, Hellforge. It's good to see you. Tamana, thank you for the subscription, the resubscription for 52 months. You are absolutely awesome. And I can't believe I've been streaming for that long. <laughs> I, mean, I can't believe the whole year is gone. We're coming up to Christmas. Man. But I hope all you guys and girls had a good weekend and you're all well. Uh, as usual, guys, if you have questions while I work, feel free to pop into chat and ask. If I can help you in any way, I'm happy to try. Um, if you just want to say hello, that's always welcome. But if all you want to do is watch, that's completely fine. I get that. Okay, I'll try not to spill coffee on myself. Smurf says, uh, another month come and gone. I know, I know. We're, you know, we're going to be in November in like a week. How did that happen? I remember, <laughs> I remember January like it was just like, you know, a month ago. It's, I blame this whole situation with you know the human malware it's just uh, but we're finally out of lockdown in Melbourne and I got my hair cut after three months because we were in lockdown here for three months so I couldn't leave the house <laughs> well I could go, go shopping and stuff but that's about it but now we're out of lockdown because over 70% of our population is fully vaccinated so I'm just happy I could have my hair cut. And so we, yes, we're opening up. I'm not really happy about that, but anyway. So I think they're even going to start allowing international visitors back to Australia in December, I think it is. So there you go. Australia is throwing their doors, our doors wide open to the world. Good for the good or bad. And I think it's bad, but anyway. Anyway. Uh, so yes, we're working on this gate here. Um, we are working on this post in this gate at the moment in Substance Painter. So let's go and jump straight into Substance Painter, I guess. So, uh, this is where we left off last week. Now, I know you guys said, oh, you thought it should be a, a stone post, not a metal post. Uh, and uh, I thought I wanted a metal post, and I still do. Um, but I thought we'd come with, to a compromise. So what I've done is I've added, yeah, I haven't turned it on yet. Uh, I've added a layer which is like a moss layer because I just felt the post was looking a little heavy. Um, so by adding uh, this moss layer, it just helps to soften the metal up a little bit. So if I turn it on, you can see what I mean. So it's just, just something to help to soften it up a bit. So it's not quite so stark, quite so dark. Now, <laughs> Normally, moss does not grow on metal, okay? So it's not completely accurate. You shouldn't have moss growing on metal. Usually it doesn't grow on metal. It grows on rocks and, and tiles and things like that, but not usually metal. It's because it's the metal causes a reaction, I believe, with the, um, with the plant, the moss, and so moss can't really grow on metal. But hey, it's a game. We can do what we want. <laughs> you approve smooth? Good. Yeah, so it just, just helps to soften it up a little bit. Um, 
and lighten up the metal a little bit as well. Just it just adds a bit more, a bit more variation to the metal as opposed to just being a dark metal. Helps to make the posts maybe look a little bit more interesting. Uh, now I do want to probably just make a couple of changes here. Um, I might bring a little bit more silver into it. Help with black, yeah, well, yeah, black metal. It is, it's a dark metal. Um, cause I remember we looked at, um, reference images on Google last week and those, the metal posts that come with the metal gates, generally they're a really dark metal. The same as the, um, the, the metal that's on, whoop, <laughs> the metal that's on the, um, in here. It, usually it's a very dark metal. Come on, Max, stop doing this. Oh, hey. But I thought it was just a bit too dark. So we'll, we'll probably bring this urn into Substance Painter as well. And we'll just, we might just do a bit of an overpaint on it. No, but let's, let's do the uh, post first. One thing at a time. Uh, now, once we've sorted out the post, then we can create a smart material from all of our smart layers. And we can reuse it then on the rest of the gate here, the main part of the gate. So we should be able to texture that up pretty quickly. Hellforge says the main cultural export of Norway. Oh, black metal, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> rename card. Thank you, rename card says looking cool. So yes, um, we have added this um, moss layer. Now, and again, metal does not grow moss, but it's a game and we can do what we want. As Bob Ross would say, it's my world, I'll do what I want. Uh, so yeah, just, just to soften it up. But what we need to do is, I just want to um, maybe make some changes to some color here. So let's look at the silver. I might bring in a little bit more silver through here. So we're going to go into color selection and we might Might we might we might. Let's see if what silver looks like on these pieces through here. Just just to try and pull back a little bit on the gold because I know you love the gold smurf, but it was just a bit too much gold. Hellfoid says remember to copy and save. Good good suggestion. So let, let's um Let's do the save and I can have a copy. <laughs> Smith says rude. So yeah, I've just knocked back a little bit on the gold here through these um, decorative pieces through here. Just to soften the um, post up a little bit. We won't put any, any uh, jade or anything on it. We'll, we'll keep it pretty, pretty simple. Smash says no chill. I've been good this morning. I got stuck straight into work. You see? Tomorrow, of course, is a just chat stream, so we can talk about whatever you guys want. Tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, I, I think knocking back, uh, pulling out some of the gold just helps to it, it helps to highlight the some of the decorative pieces a bit more as well. If everything, not everything is gold. There's a bit of variation going on. So, YouTube will be happy for one says health voice. They will be. YouTube will be ecstatic. Phil, shut up for a change. Um, so what we need to do now is we just need to add an, an overall dirt layer to everything. So what I'm going to do is jump into our smart materials and we're going to do a filter search on dirt. And let's see what we got. Some of these are more interesting than the others. Usually I, I create dirt. You guys have seen me make a dirt layer by hand before. Um, which is generally the way I go, but we do have some smart material. So let's see what we got to play with. Let's 
Some of these we have to be a bit careful because they're actually going to introduce uh, new materials. We don't want that. We just want the so. Maybe, maybe. Let's see what this one looks like. I'm just going to throw that at the top of the stack. It's a bit, it's subtle, maybe a bit too subtle. Let's just turn that off and have a look at one of the others. Let's see what this one looks like. Uh, this one's a bit too heavy. <laughs> I don't like that one. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we also have this one. So let's see what this one looks like. Yeah. Uh, um, Helpwood says, my current struggle is that I speed through the UV unwrapping to get to the good parts. So now that I'm in Painter, everything is baked horribly and the maps are unusable. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem. You make, you've got to make sure the UV maps are good to get a nice paint. Uh, if you've got problems with the, um, with the UVs, then your paint is not going to look great. Um, we either have too subtle or too heavy. So I think what we might try and do here is see if we can't make some alterations to this one. So I'm going to jump into the height information because I just think it's a bit too bumpy. Not really the height, maybe in the normal. Again, I'm just waiting for Painter to catch up to me here. Let's go back to the color and let's actually go through the list of the layers here to see what we can uh, make some adjustments to. I have a feeling it's this grainy filter that they're putting on it. Smart, smart mask. I could be wrong. Helpwood says that's what I get for being sloppy. Yeah, you really, it, it pays, look, I hate UV mapping. You guys know how much I hate UV mapping. But it's really, really important to get right, to get a nice um, material. Particularly if, you, if you're using Painter here, the UVs are really important. Of course, do remember if you are using Painter that it does have the option when you import your model to auto unwrap. It's never going to be as good as doing it by hand, but if you, if you really, really hate unwrapping, and you do use um, Adobe Painter, uh, there is that option. That it'll automatically do it, try and do an unwrap for you. Just going to jump into the actual material itself. No, we'll keep the normal on. What we might do is we might um, pull it back a little bit. So in the mix, well, we might pull the mix back a bit. So we might just pull it in a little. So it's a little dirty, but not filthy. So if we turn that on and off, I might just pull it back a little bit more, I think. Yeah, 
Just, just a little bit of dirt here and there. Yeah, we'll remove this dirt layer here. Could add a smart mask as well if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Let's see what mask they're using. doesn't really work. Yeah, no, I don't want to, I don't want to remove the sheen from the metal. So if we go too high, we start just to lose that. Card says that sucks. So four GBs can be a real pain. <laughs> hey, sniper girl, it's good to see you. Hi to you as well. I hope you had a good weekend. I see you posted some more images in the gallery from the drone. I'll check those out. Uh, I also want to show you some of the work that um, Selfless One and Wax Kink have done that they posted in the gallery. Wax Kink has been doing a lot of stuff for Halloween, so pumpkins and things like that and spooky stuff. Uh, and Wax Kink, oh, sorry, Selfless One has. Uh, Posted some really nice uh, renders here. Really interesting. Again, I'll show those just before I sign off for the day. And uh, Sniper Girl, of course, has posted a picture from her drone. So, yes, I was saying to the guys, uh, Sniper Girl, that I have added a moss layer because I know you guys were thinking the post should have been met, uh, stone. Um, so I thought we'd add a moss layer just to help soften up the column a little bit. And now we're adding just a general dirt layer. Let's just do a quick save. Okay, I don't know that there's much else we need to do to this column really. I think we can say that the column is pretty much done. So Nipe Girl says, uh, I've had a good weekend. I took the drone up quite a few times. Tested the drone today with 20 mile per hour winds. Where I am, 232 kilometers. Thank you. <laughs> it worked very well. Hardly a twitch at all. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. 32k. Uh, kilometer an hour winds for it to be able to fly up in that that's pretty cool 
I'm good. Yes, no, I'm good. I was t telling the guys that um, I managed to get a haircut after three months, so I'm happy. <laughs> I hate it when my hair gets really long. It gets out of control. So yes, I'm just happy I could have a haircut. And of course it's Melbourne Cup next week too, so there's no streams next week guys. Um, you guys know I always go out to Melbourne Cup. They, they forced me to at the studio, the Archery studio. Um, so I'll be doing that next week. So there'll be no streams next week. But I'm back the week after. And then it will be as normal until we hit the Christmas period, Christmas New Year break. Uh, Snappy Girl says, I had it up to 350 feet, 106 meters. Wow. Uh, if it was 20 mile per hour ground level, no clue what it, does, what it was up that high. I'm sure it was a lot, a lot stronger up higher. That's, that's 100 meters, over 100, over 106 meters is pretty high. Yeah. So it seems to be performing really well, the, the one that you ended up buying, which is good. And the quality of the images is uh, really nice that you're getting from it. So yeah, you should get some nice photogrammetry stuff out from using the drone if you want to for that. Have you um, sent that email to the uh, estate agent about the, the house you were saying that's near you up for sale? Because I think that's a really good idea to do that. Maybe girl says, yeah, it barely twitched at all. Yeah, that's impressive. Okay, I, th I think, well, I don't think there's really anything else I need to add to this post. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to, now, instead of saving these out as each smart material, I'm going to group them all. And wait for Substance Painter to catch up here again. It's thinking about it. We did do a save, so that's okay. I never trust this program. And we're going to call this one my, because everything that I create, I put my in front of, my, um, we're calling it car gate, I believe, because the car is going to be near it. And again, just waiting for substance here. I don't know what it's doing because I didn't change anything. Uh, Snappy Girl says, no, not yet, just got a tablet, bigger micro SD card and other things for the drone. I was waiting for the stuff to arrive before emailing the realtor. Okay, fair enough. But I do think it's a really good idea. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna convert this to a smart material. So we're going to create smart material. And it's putting it just down there. So remember, my car gate is what we're calling this. Okay, let's uh, export the textures and let's put it in the right spot new for models car gate exports so I want to put it here maybe I should create a special folder for it yeah I think I'll do that so I'm going to create a folder called post Gate post. Just keep things nice and organized. And we are going to be exporting at four K. Just making sure that my template is correct. It's my template. Build us three D. Okay, post, export. Now remember, when we bring it into the game engine, uh, it's going to knock it back from 4K to 2K, so. Uh, Snappy Girl says, it's, is it bad that everyone checks so far? Hang on, is it bad that 
every check so far since I've gotten the drone, I've spent some of my check on accessories for it. Well, no, because it's the newest toy you're playing with, so that's fine. That's why you work. You work so you can enjoy yourself and buy stuff that you want. Um, that's normal. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. As long as you, you know, you're not spending all your money on your drone. Uh, Smurf says, I stopped myself from doing that by not going to the photo equipment store. <laughs> Yeah, I, I try and, like you guys know, I like to spend money at Amazon and I try and avoid looking at Amazon when I want to save some money. Because otherwise it's just too tempting. Too tempting. <laughs> Parochina, my apologies if I'm mispronouncing your name. <sighs> rated, did I get rated by Parochina? And cheered. Thank you, Parachino. And again, my apologies if I'm mispronouncing your name. But thank you for the cheer and thank you for the raid. <laughs> and welcome, Parachino. Two Phil does 3D if you haven't been here before. I don't recognize your username, so maybe not. Yes, thank you for the raid, as Sniper Girl says. And for the cheer as well. So are you a streamer, Parachina? And if you do stream, what sort of things do you stream? Games? 3D? Oh, okay. I said it right, good. I'm glad I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Uh, Lake Mog! Lake Mog, are you in the chat? By the gods, whose idea was this dreadful raid? So Legmog recommended me. How have you been, Legmog? We were just talking about you a few weeks ago, saying we haven't seen you for a while. You been well? So I know that um, you guys over there in the UK are going through a bit of a human malware resurgence. So I hope you I hope you're well. It's good to see you. Dark Leviathan, hello to you as well. Thank you for the follow, Dark Leviathan. Welcome to Phil Does 3D. You're another one of those leg mob friends, eh? Oh, all that leg mob. Uh, Parachina says, I am indeed. I'm a digital art streamer. Well, there you go, uh, guys. Check out Parachina's um, Twitch channel as well. Parachina, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, I'll, I'll shoot you a follow um, on your Twitch channel after I finish the stream today. Uh, Legmog says, takes a bow. Come now, Phil community. Where's the flipping red carpet? <laughs> you must have all forgot to roll it out. Uh, Parachina says that Legmog conquered Japan, if you didn't know. You can call me Shogun Legmog. Did you, get, did you go to Japan, Legmog? Is that what the um, Parachina is saying? Uh, Hellboard says copy and save. <laughs> All right, why not? We'll do a save. We'll just export the textures and I'll have a copy. Thank you, Dark Leviathan, for the cheer of 10 bits as well. You are awesome. Thank you both. So thank you, Dark Leviathan and Parachina for the bits and for the follow as well. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot you a follow of Parachina after the stream. Because I don't monitor my stream, so I don't have um, Twitch open. Because I can't stand seeing myself on camera. The Dark Leviathan says, Cheer 10, yay, you said my name correctly. It took another streamer a couple of weeks to say it right, well, I'm sure I'll, I'll forget. But yeah, I mean, I try. I do try, but I often get it wrong, as my viewers will tell you. I'm terrible with username. But I'm glad I got both yours right, Parachina and Dark Leviathan. <laughs> Snappy girl rolls out the red carpet for Legmog. Legmog says, I, I wish I sat on my butt and played... Oh, you played Shogun Total War. Wait, what's it like? Is it a good game? I've heard good things. Uh, Parachina says to Dark Leviathan, no idea what you mean. <laughs> Legmog says, there we go. Hey, thank you, Sniper Girl. Now, where's that Sniper Echo? 
I need, I need him to play harp whilst I recline on the sofa in my Tonga. Tonga. <laughs> yeah, I think Sniper Sniper's going to be busy with uh, his game at the moment. Uh, Perugina says to Legmog, are you being graced by grapes too? <laughs> okay. Uh, we've exported this, we've created a smart material. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into 3D Studio Max. And we're going to export uh, one half of the gate to begin with. So the low res version, left gate low res. Let's see if these will line up because we had a bit of a problem lining up the, uh, the column when we first started painting it. And it's because that pivot point wasn't in the right spot. I blame you, Sniper Girl. <laughs> Let's export this to... Models. Okay. Exports. Oh, hang on. Did I already? I think I already exported these, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I'm just too organized. Okay. Well, we don't have to export it. Let's just bring it into Substance Painter. So we're going to create a new project. And we're going to bring in the left gate low res we're not we've already uh, UV mapped it so we're not going to get the program to do it but we are going to compute tangent space because it is being brought into the Unreal Engine later on uh, hang on I thought I saved this but let's do it again just to be on the safe side uh, a Paracina says this looks very fancy is this gate for a leg mob castle <laughs> It's for a spooky house, yes, uh, Smurf says, yep. It's for a game called The House in the Hollow. So we're working on assets for that game. Uh, you can wishlist the game on Steam if you're interested. Right now. So left gate, compute tangent space. And we'll just give that a minute. There we go. Okay, so we want to bake out from the high res mesh. So left gate left high res. Uh, we're not going to bake out the ID map because we're doing that from the low res. Everything else should be okay. So let's see if we get these lined up. Okay, now again, we're having a bit of an issue here, and it's uh, this it looks like it's lined up, but it looks to me like they're inverted um, or flipped normal. So that's the problem we're seeing here, this dark gray. So let's jump back into Max and check that. So I'm just going to select this and isolate. I'm going to turn off uh, vertex coloring so we can see what we're doing. So this is the low res version of the gate and that is not inverted. That's correct. So it must be in the high res. So left gate, high res. Let's check this one. And we can see here, the color is that dark, dark red. That means it's inverted. So we just need to flip the normals there and here. And here. Hang on. No, we, we don't want to flip that. But we do have to check it from both sides. Again, we don't want to flip that. Paracina says, nice. Um, yeah, so the game is due to be released next year at this stage. 
<laughs> Dark Leviathan says, is there anything else you need, Emperor? <laughs> Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus? Germanicus? I mean, shotgun leg? <laughs> Nothing else says Parachina, no clue. We'll just know the poor guy would have had to use the bushes a long time before Phil finally caved and designed the bathroom in the place. <laughs> yes, the guys will tell you that, um, the guys and girls will tell you that the house had no bathroom for a very long time. I told them all they had to go and use the bushes if they want to go to the bathroom. Again, I'm just checking to make sure we don't have any flipped normals. I think here might be flipped as well. Now I think we should be good. So, let's re-export the high-res version. Um, mm, 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 gate left high res, that's the one we want. Back into painter, back into bake. We will reload our high res model and we will re bake. Rename card says, nice model. Thank you, Rename card says, can I see the wire on that? Uh, okay, just give me a sec. So, now we should be okay. Oh, hang on. Looks like I might have forgotten that bit there. Yeah. Let's jump back into Max. Uh, let me just fix this. You want to see the wire? I'll show you the wire frame in two secs. Rename cut. And then we have this bit here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Okay. This is the high res mesh uh, rename cut. So. That's the wire frame. I have my rotate uh, set to my mouse wheel, so that's why sometimes you see me going like this while I'm trying to rotate it. Um, Paragenus says, the sniper girl, those darn water pipes, am I right? Paragenus says, got up off my computer chair and I put my slippers on the wrong feet. I'm doing well. <laughs> Legmug says, phew, thank goodness. Phil missed my message above. Hang on. Or oh, that would have been the end of me. What did I miss? Oh. <laughs> I did miss it. It's scrolled past now. What did you say, Legmug? And who are you dating at the moment, Legmug? That's generally what we like. What we, what we want to hear about when you come to the channel. Because it's always someone new. And how's the exercising going too, by the way? Legmog says to Perry, you didn't put your slippers on your hands and your gloves on your feet again, did you? <sighs> Parachina says, uh, I know it happens all too frequently these days, damn limbs. Renan Card says, you showed it already, there is a delay. No, I can't. <laughs> so clean. Okay, so let's uh, re-export the, um, whoops, the high-res version one more time. Gate left high-res. And redo this one more time. Third time's the charm. Um, yeah, we, no, we want to go down here, that's what we want. And bake.
uh, Pachin says it's so good, very regal and detailed. Yeah, well, this is the main gate for the um, for the entryway to the uh, to the estate. So we wanted it to be quite regal looking, with the F and the B on either side of the gate for Francis Barrett, because that's the person's house you're wandering through when you're playing the game. Okay, I think we should be good. So what we can do now is we can um, use the smart material we created for the post. So uh, w because we did use color selection to mask, it's, it's not going to map correctly or right, but what we, we'll just assign the smart material to the gate and then we'll have to go through it and make some adjustments. So again, I'm sweating for substance paint. I'm Elfwood says, Phil slapping coming. <laughs> yeah, Leg Mike always deserves a slap. Let's give him a Phil slap anyway. A Phil welcome slap to Phil Leg Mike. Good idea, Elfwood. Smurf says you're safe because Phil doesn't use the web chat. No, I don't use the web chat. No, that's true. Chaos. 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 Chaos flicks. Flick, 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 chaos flicks. Thank you for the follow. My apologies if I've mangled your username. Chaos flicks. Thank you for following Phil Does 3D. Welcome to Phil Does 3D. Uh, I stream guys that are new to my channel every Monday and Tuesday uh, at 5 p.m. Pacific U.S. time. Uh, I'm not. I, I'm not. <laughs> I live in Australia, but I, I work on U.S. time, so it's every Monday and Tuesday in the United States at 5 p.m. Pacific time is when I stream. Uh, Legmark says yes. So I actually met up. I bet you do with one of my Twitch exercise compadres in real life the other week who also happens to be uh, Parachetta's real-life friend anyway. The British Twitch scene is a very tight-knit community, so it seems. <laughs> um, I, I saw, when I, the last stream I caught of yours where you were doing some exercising was with two girls. I wonder, one of you, Parachetta, were you one of those girls that I would have seen exercising with people? This was a few months ago, though. Or maybe not. Um, Parachetta says, obviously we're all too cool. <laughs> Leg Mug says, the date scene is dry. But I do fancy the pants off of a slightly older lady at dance class. <laughs> Weighing up if it would be weird if I asked her out. Why would it be weird? She would be uh, flattered, I'm sure. It's never weird trying, wanting to uh, ask somebody out, as long as you don't turn into a real creep about it. Um, Halford says, good job. Nipe Girl says mod slap. Did you throw at us mod slap as well? Mod slap. Oh, she she slapped me back. Well, you're going to get a slap back as well. That's that's a slap for you, Sniper Girl. Now giving me a mod slap. I mean, really? <laughs> We're just going to be slapping each other all day. Helpwood says the slap war has begun. Yeah, Parachetta says how much older? Legmog says, uh, two slaps and I definitely didn't mention the bathroom kitchen issue. The game has a bathroom and it has a kitchen, so you've got nothing to complain about anymore. You don't have to go and pee in the pond anymore or, sc or sca scavenge for food in the forest. So you've, you've got a kitchen, you've got a bathroom. No excuses. They even gave you a bedroom. Uh, Legmark says, I'd say 15 years, maybe. So this this lady is 15 years older than you. That's that's all right. 15 years is nothing. Uh, Parachetta says, I'm not going to do be doing the exercise stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> slap wars. Uh, mod slap. I got a well, power forge. Did a mod slap. Jeez. Well, you're going to get the stink eye now. Smurf says, fight, fight, fight. 
Uh, Parachetta says, I mean, 15 isn't too terrible if you both have similar intellectual age. Yeah, 15 years is, is not, is nothing. I remember when I was, how old was I? I would, probably would have been maybe 18. I went out with someone that was like 45. So, and that's, so that's more than 15 years. Um, Sniper Girl says, be glad I don't have enough points for a silence oh, or, or a gag. Could you imagine gagging me? Because one of the rewards now is where you can gag me for a full half an hour. I can't speak for a half an hour. And you guys that watch me know how hard that is for me not to talk because I'm such a chatterbox and blabbermouth and motor mouth. So, I'm already regretting adding, adding that as one of the uh, redeemable points for viewers. Uh, Legmog says to Parachetti, yes, we both never developed much past the age of 10, I think. <laughs> Hellforge says, first and only time I'm doing that. You can do it as much as you want. You're a mod. You guys go for it. That's why they were put there, so you can use them. I'll slap you back, but you know. <laughs> Have some coffee. Good suggestion, Hellforge. Like Mike says, oh, and Phil, I want to hear something insane. Oh, do I want to hear something insane? Of course I do. Tell me. Tarot Cheddar says to Legmog, I've seen larger age gaps. Sniper Girl says, Phil does 3D was right after the arc. That's right, I was best besties with Noah. You know that. Uh, Legmog says, so I now own three NVIDIA 3090s. Why do you need three 3090s, Legmog? You know, there are some poor people that can't even buy one. And here you are with three of them. What's going on? Helford says, I'm saving up for an extended game stream again. I've seen some interesting stuff that's not too dear to get. Okay, yes, well, we did. I did add new rewards for viewers. And um, just <laughs> just so you guys who don't maybe know, there is a, a, a reward called Pretty Phil, which is where I will wear a sparkly tiara for the entire stream. Um, there's one called Play a Game, which was always there. Play a Game Viewer's Choice, where you choose the game that I play. Um, play a Game Extended Stream, which is where I choose the game, but the stream lasts for three hours instead of two. Gag Fill, of course, which is where I don't talk for 30 minutes. And Play a Game Viewer's Extended, which is where I play a game that the viewer chooses for an extended stream of three hours. So. But the extended streams are only for playing a game, not for doing 3D. Um, Parachetta says to Legmog, my mum says my godmother married someone who was 40 years older and they had a very happy marriage. Age is, you're only as old as you feel, or the person you feel. Isn't that the way it goes? Sniper Girl says to Legmog, well, how? <laughs> Elfwood says, hi Parachetta says, awesome redeems. Sniper Girl says, nice. <sighs> Okay, so we have to go through and um, change some of these because this was, <clears throat> pardon me, the smart material here was created for the post, for the fence post, and it uses um, color selection for masking, which is why everything is just a mess at the moment. Legmog says, uh, it is bittersweet. I want to have two of my 3090s installed in one machine. So two and a half months ago, I ordered a 1600 watt power supply, which you'll need for two 3090s uh, and a new motherboard. And I'm still waiting for those to arrive. <laughs> oh no. So this new 3090 uh, just sat there taunting me. Because I, I know you had two 3090s that you were using in two separate machines. So you bought another one so that you could SLI them up or whatever they call it now. They don't call it SLI anymore. NV Link, I think it's called now. Tell me how that goes when you do get the new power supply in the motherboard because I'm curious to see because of course only the 3090 is um, available to use NB Link. You can't do it with a 3080, a 3070, a 3060. NVIDIA removed the option to do SLI basically unless you have a 3090. It's the only car that will do it. Um, so yeah, let me know how it goes when you NB Link them together because of course you're going to need the NB Link accessory. And they're not cheap, you know, 
just 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 that little little bridge, NB Link bridge that connects the two cards together is not cheap. And don't tell many people you got th uh, three thirty nineties because uh, no, some people can't even buy one video card at the moment. Snappy Girl says, "Help Forge redeem." Oh no, did he? <sighs> wow. Okay. Hellforge has redeemed pretty Phil, so Phil has to wear a tiara for the entire length of the stream. There you go. There's my sparkly tiara, and I'm a pretty Phil now. <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned anything, should I? I should have redeemed it at the start of the stream, yeah, that's right. Now we only get an hour of it. <laughs> Sniping girl says to Hellforge at the rate he's talking, it might be less than an hour. This is true. I can't help myself, you know, I'm, I'm a motor mouth. It's on now. It'll be there for the entire length of the rest of the stream. Like Mark says, oh, well, not SLI or NV Link. The only reason I'm buying more is to increase my render. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was just, I thought maybe you were putting them both in so you could NV Link them together. <laughs> Sniper Girl says, I'm so pretty. Oh, so pretty. That's right. Do I look pretty? Am I pretty with my sparkly tiara? Which is really uncomfortable, by the way, but anyway. Because <laughs> it's like, got, it's made of metal. Mm. Points well spent, Hellpoid says. Yes, well, pretty Phil, and this will go to my YouTube channel as well, so I'm sure they'll get a good laugh out of it on YouTube. Anyway, why did I make this, uh, this for your redemption thing? Uh, so yeah, let's go through and um, start fixing this up. Beautiful Parachetta says thank you. I'll give you I'll give you guys a good good view of it. There we go. Pretty film. Okay, so we're gonna start by just turning the general dirt layer off. And we're gonna go right back to the very bottom here so that I can start making sure that this is correct. So we have a base metal color here, which is what we're using on um, all of our metal parts for the for the po for the gate. For the gate. <laughs> uh, Legmog says, but uh, both the PSU and the motherboard were out of stock when I ordered back in August. I figured maybe a month and a half of waiting, but it'll be November next week, and still they're listed as out of stock with no indication of when they'll be back in stock. Man, times be tough. First world problems, hey? Yeah, look, there's a, there's a shortage of uh, everything at the moment. Whether it's graphics cards, CPUs, just tech in general. There's a, because of, you know, the human malware and all that. It's caused problems with the supply chain. And even when it comes to Christmas, which is soon, remember? November will be in, in a week's time, so it'll be Christmas before you know it. So my advice to you guys is if you need to do Christmas shopping, you should do it now. Because Odds are you're not going. They're not, uh, stores are not going to be able to restock before Christmas. So once they sell out, that'll be it until after Christmas probably. So if you do have to buy gifts for people, um, you should do it now. I haven't, but you know, I'm saying you should. I'm one of those people that'll leave it till the last minute and not be able to buy anything because there won't be anything in stock. But yeah, technology in particular, it's been really difficult to buy at the moment. I feel it slipping. There we go. Let's stick it up a bit higher on my head. So yeah, you've got your card, but you can't use it because uh, you need your new PSU. Particularly the power supply, yeah, because the 3090 sucks the juice down, as you would know having one, having two. <sighs> Sniper Girl says, chat will do some 3D uh, Phil does just chat. We'll do some 3D any minute now. I will. I'll do some 3D right now. Okay. I'm sure my hair is in complete mess. 
All right. All right, all right. So, uh, yeah, we've got the base metal color. Uh, the next one is the swirl. So, I'm going to the swirls, the swirls. Color selection, we want to remove that one, pick color. Oh, okay. This is, <laughs> we haven't baked out the ID map, so let's do that, shall we? So back to bake, and we're going to remove the high res and only bake out the um, the ID map. Using the low as the high, because the low is the one that has the ID colors assigned to it. But we do need to make sure we switch it to vertex color. And let's bake that out. Okay, the swirls, swirls. Uh, let's see what it looks like on this. Come on, painter, you can do it. Hang on. Let me see what's going on here. All correct. Why am I not showing anything? It's a bit strange. Why, 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 why? A rename card says, yeah, last minute shopping is my jam. Yeah, that's, that's usually what I do as well. I usually leave it till the last minute, run around like a headless chicken trying to find everything. Or trying to buy stuff for everyone. Leglog says, man, it's pretty hot in my room right now. Please excuse me while I fan myself down with my third 3090 graphics card. <laughs> Much better. Well, like I said, like, Mark, I wouldn't brag about it too much because you'll get people very angry at you for having three when they can't get one. Well, because I know there's a couple of guys in the in the chat here that want want to buy video cards, but um, either can't get them or don't want to pay the outrageous prices that they want to charge for them. I'm a little confused as to why Painter is not displaying my texture. This warning is just about an emissive, so it, that's not a problem. We still have our maps, so that's okay. But it's not showing anything. Why is it not showing anything? Let's just close down and open up just to see. No, it's definitely not that. Snappy Girl says to like my uh, bed 3390s make the room feel hot as hell. Yeah, look, I, when I when mine goes off, it, I can feel the heat coming off the thing, even blowing out the top of my case. The thing gets really hot, the 3090 when it's running. Uh, Halford says I'm pretty hot, yes. <laughs> hey, all. hey, Android Lust, it's good to see you. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, actually, I should put Pretty Phil down, shouldn't I? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, Hellforge redeemed Pretty Phil, so Phil has to wear a sparkly tiara for the whole stream. In case you're wondering. Um, Android Lost says, I'm cool, probably from the lack of graphics cards. <laughs> Legmog says, don't worry, here's the Legmog guide to easily getting a 3090. Step one. Douse your wallet in gasoline. Step two, throw a match on the wallet and voila, a brand new 3090 is yours. They are expensive, really. I, I don't know what you guys are paying in Europe and uh, the US at the moment, but 3090s in Australia are incredibly expensive. I mean, they're, they're more, more expensive now than what I paid when I bought mine. You know, it's a, they're like six or $700 more expensive now in Australia. But they're pushing like four grand Australian money that is not US money that's a lot of money for a video card 
Oh, and I wouldn't even think about spending four. And he's got three of them, so I've got. I, I think how much money you've spent, like one. Um, yeah, if I didn't need it for work and I couldn't claim it back for business, then I wouldn't have bought one. Not for that sort of money. Helpwood says, I'd be happy if I could get a job. Kind of need that before I can get a new GPU. Maybe you need two jobs to buy a GPU these days. Uh, yeah, Parachetta says to Legmog, flaunting all his SASs. Legmog says, Android? <laughs> um... Sniper Girl says the leg mug sounds about right. Android Lust says I just noticed the tiara. <laughs> How could you miss it? <laughs> yes, that's one of the viewer rewards that uh, Phil has to wear a tiara for the entire stream. And a Hell Forge redeemed it, so. So it's pretty, Phil. Um, leg mug says, yeah, I just did the numbers on Google, and in Australian dollars, that's 3,854 bucks. That's for one card. Yeah. What you spend. But yeah, on one card. That's what you spend on one card. Uh, because, um, yeah, I know it's about $700 more expensive now for me to buy $3090 than what I paid. Because I bought it on release night. Um, it's just insane. Insane. What is going on with this? Why is it not showing up? I'm confused. I am confused. All I did was bake out the ID map, which should not have caused. I'm just going to make sure I remove color selection from all of these, just in case it's doing something it shouldn't be, but that really should not be happening. Uh, it might be the black masks, but I've turned all of the masking off. So again, it should not be happening. We have our base color. So that should, if nothing else, be showing up. I'm not sure why it's not. Why are you not showing up? No, should all be fine. Uh, Helpwood says, did you bake out Vertex color? I did bake out Vertex color, which is what we want. Um, but look, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw uh, material down so I can see what's going on. So Let's just close that and let's just grab any material just so we can see whether it's going to apply or not. I don't know. Um, well, this will be concrete. Yeah, now again, see concrete is not applying. Why is that? It's not applying a material, which is very strange. I have not come across this before. Making sure that I didn't switch something off I shouldn't have. Weird. Very, very weird. I'm just going to remove the ID map for a minute. Yeah, I didn't think it was the ID map. That is strange. Yeah, no, I did remember to change it from material to vertex. Sniper Girl says, did Phil break painter again? <gasps> I know, I think I might have broken it. Uh, Legwork says, but yeah, I was very lucky that I actually ba uh, bagged a three-month freelance gig. Plus, I also live with my mum. Plus, I have no wife or kids. Well, you have that huge disposable income, so yeah. That helps, for sure. No wife and no cool kids will keep you poor. And I, I can't 
say, because I, I have no kids, but my brother and my sister have children. They have three each. Uh, and I know that they keep you poor, so. So major respect for all those parents out there. I know how expensive kids can be. And I'd rather spend my money on video cards as well than children. Hellboard says you're in other view layer. Uh, am I? What? What am I in? Other view layer. Oh. Hang on. I don't want single channel though. What? 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 How did this happen? What's going on here? I've never even noticed this here, you know. <laughs> that goes to show you just how much attention I pay. Um, how about says throw material? Okay. <laughs> how did they get changed? I did not change that. Explain to me how that happened. Thank you, Hellforge. Otherwise, Phil would have been fumbling around for another half an hour trying to work out what was going on. <laughs> oh, you know, I have never noticed this drop down here before. Has that always been there? Am I just that unobservant that I've just never noticed? Probably. Okay. Let's go back to where we were, shall we? And pretend that never happened. Thank you, Hellforge. Uh, he'll read it soonish, Sniper Girl says. Did you know as well and didn't tell me? You're so cruel, Sniper Girl. Android Lust says, cars will keep you poor. Cars, yes, cars will. See, I don't drive either, so I don't have that expense either. Uh, Smith says, Roo-Roo-Roggy. Roo-Roo-Roggy. Uh, yes, that's what's... It's always been there. I've never noticed it before, you know? What's the purpose of it? Just so you could see, you know, your roughness, your metallic, an individual channel. I don't understand why that's there, because that's what this is for, in my opinion. But anyway, I've never noticed it before. <laughs> uh, Sniper Girl says, yep, Hellboard says it's been there for, uh, for the year, plus some changes since I first started using Painter. Well, I am using the, the latest version of Painter, so. Oh, but I've never noticed it before. Uh, Smurf says the shortcuts for changing that is like BN or L. Oh, maybe I hit one. Of, yeah, maybe I hit the keyboard by mistake. Maybe. Maybe. Although I don't recall hitting the keyboard, but anyway. <laughs> Smurf says I don't have it open and it's muscle memory, not brain memory. Elfwood says to flip through the different maps in case you want to isolate different maps while working. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. I mean, this one will only work based on the layer you're actually working in. Well, no, this one works on everything, doesn't it? I think. Anyway. It's not something I'll ever use, so I've never noticed it before. Um, Hellwood says I use it a lot when dialing in the roughness. Okay. So you don't use these ones here. Smurf says it's faster than changing channels in the layer stack because it doesn't force regeneration of all the layer thumbnails. Uh, Legmark says a light. All right, peeps, I got a dash. Uh, it was super nice chatting to you all. I think for Christmas, all us spill chatters can pull our resources together and buy Phil a fairy wand to go with his tiara. And yeah, but then how would I do 3D if I had to hold my fairy wand? <laughs> it was good to see you, Legmo. I'm glad you're well. Thanks for popping in and saying hello. Alford says, have a good one. So let's go to the next one here, which is this one. And we want to do color selection. So let's try this again. There we go.
Parachetta says it's been just past 2 a.m. So all, all, I'll also be heading out. Nice to meet you all though. And I hope the rest of your stream is amazing. Thank you, Parachetta. I will follow you after the stream today. And thanks for popping in and following the channel and for the raid as well. You have a great, great night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Uh, Legmog says that's easy. You just point the wand at the PC and say Alakazam. No problem. See you, Legmog. See you, Parachetta. Par 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 Parachina. Good night. No problem, Android Lust. Uh, so yeah, let's keep going through here and um, adding our colors. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going because I can't remember what the different ones are. <laughs> I'm just going to select a couple and add them to bits and then we can look at how we want to texture it up. So next one here. Uh, let's pick that one. Okay, this. And the next one here, let's pick the color. And the next one, which is the, okay, I don't remember that one. Right. This is just an overall that we're putting on everything, I believe. Yep. And the next one is the silver. So let's pick a color that we want silver and maybe, maybe that. And then the next one is the moss layer. Um, so before we go to the moss layer, let's just start doing a little bit of alteration here. Um, I want these little swirly bits here to be the gold. So let's go back to where the gold is, which I believe is this one. Yep. And let's pick color selection to that. Um, what else do we have here? Maybe this lighter gold down here because it's a bit heavy so let's have a look at that uh, middle swirl yep that one let's pick color selection to this green helpboard says good night parachetta yes good night parachetta have a good night sleep let's also um break this up a little bit here as well so pick color selection maybe to the red there um, we, we have the app here which I want to stand out a lot more so um, let me just I haven't turned the moss layer or the dirt layer on yet, but before we do that, I want to change the F so it stands out a bit more at the top of the gate here. So let's jump back into our smart materials and let's go with a really, I think we'll go with a really shiny gold. Yeah, let's see what this one looks like. Um, we got a mask with color selection to the F. And that is very shiny. I want to knock it back. So I'm going to, uh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to pick another color. Maybe, maybe this gold damaged. Uh, again, I'm going to group both of these two golds together. We're going to call it lettering. I'm going to mask the group with color selection just to the air. And 
we're going to throw a smart mask down and we'll go with surface worn. Um, I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to knock back the hide information. And the normal. And I just want to find out which layer. I think it's this layer down here that's causing the bump that I don't like. a real detailed smart material they're always a pain to work with I'm going to turn off the normal turn off the height nope turn off the normal turn off the height Um, I believe it's actually the underlying metal that's causing that, but I, I don't know that I like the gold to be quite that bright. So I think what we might do is change up this really bright gold for something else. Something a little bit more subtle. So it's still gold, but just a more subtle gold. Maybe this one. brighter gold just so it stands out a little bit more maybe just a little bit more okay um I think we might pick up on this this tarnished gold here up here a little bit more so let's jump to that layer um, which will be I believe this one down here let's pick a color and pick there and pick a color and maybe pick there In fact, I might change that up to the same gold as that, so I'm going to pick 
pick a colour and pick that there. So that stands out a little bit more, that decorative piece that's in the middle of the gate. It's sort of like that teardrop shape there. Copy and save, yes, we should do a save because we haven't done one for a little while. So let's um, save it and then I can have a copy while it's saved out. Oh, I haven't saved it at all. Wow. Uh, car gate exports. We're going to call this one uh, car gate. And this is the left, isn't it? Living dangerously, Smapper, he says. Yes, living very dangerously. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, the the handles. I want the handles to stand out more than they are. So, our handles over here. So, let's move in a little bit there. Uh, and I think, again, we might go with this this brighter gold, pick up on that. Um, and I think maybe the main handle part here, the brighter gold. So let's um, also pick with color selection to that. Just so they stand out a bit more. Uh, and I think the top and the bottom of the handle, the bottom anyway, we might pick up on this tarnished gold. So. Uh, we'll go here, pick with color selection. Hang on, is that the right one? Yeah, that was the right one. Wait. Okay. It's, it's broader. Selecting that has changed these. Um, Trying to find the color. No, it's not that one. It was the one up here. Yeah. Let me re. Let me really pick color. See, now me selecting this green here is also changing this blue. So we're going to have to um, make sure that we turn the tolerance down. Unless we like it with more gold. I don't know, what do you guys think? More gold? Less gold. Less gold, more gold. Less gold, more gold. What what's the what's the consensus with you guys? Less gold or more gold? So that's more gold, that's less gold. More. Sniper Girl says more. Always more gold is the answer. I'm sure that Smurf would say more gold as well. <laughs> All right, more gold. And I don't know that we really need to do a lot more to it, uh, but we do need to add the moss layer if we want it, and also the dirt layer. Helpwood says, I like more gold for a portfolio piece. Less gold makes more sense considering the place have been abandoned and neglected for ages. Yeah, I agree. But we'll go with more gold. It'll just help the gate stand out a little bit more from a distance as well. Although we are going to be growing ivy over it, so... Yeah, less gold is a bit too... I like more gold. More gold makes it stand out a bit more. It, it's, it does detract from the F, but that's okay. Now Smurf says, I find that they're both pretty well balanced. Smurf says, if there's ivy, then definitely more gold. And there will be. We'll have ivy growing over it, so yeah. 
because there needs to be enough to peek through the ivy. That's very true. So yeah, we'll have ivy growing over it, so over a lot of the gate anyway. Android Lost says, I wonder how much a gate like that would cost. Yeah. Well, uh, the, you, the building that we've, we've created for the game, um, the new Vogue, that Art new Vogue building with all the furniture in it, that would be worth a fortune. Certainly a place I could never afford to live. So yeah, I hate to think how much how much money the gate would cost. It wouldn't be cheap. None of the gates that are in that building would be cheap. You know, we have the we have the main gates to the grounds, and we have the deco gate at the back. And yeah, they, none of it would be cheap. Let alone the furniture and stuff in the building. Smurf says, "Got to be at least ten bucks." <laughs> um, Hell says, "I'll buy it for a fiver." Yeah, Sniper Girl says to Android Lust, would have to sell your kidney in the left arm to buy one. I think you would. Elfwood says 550 max. <laughs> uh, good luck. Good luck buying a gate like that for 550. Wasn't it 350? 350? Isn't that the joke in South Park? It's worth 350? The Loch Ness monster thing? Chef's parents? <laughs> tree fitty, tree fitty. <laughs> okay, let's um have a look at adding the uh, the moss. Now the gate might not need moss, and we do need to make sure we do a color selection to. Oh, I don't know where we. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's try that. Okay, so we've got moss growing in here on the metal. If I turn it off, you can see where it is and what it's doing. So again, we're using it just to knock the metal back a little bit. So through here, through here, and through here. The moss is mainly growing toward the base because that's what happens with moss. It grows from where it touches the ground up usually. Um, Sniper Girl says, I'd buy that for a dollar. Hellforward says, speaking of trees, are you going to add any more assets with wood materials on them? Um, yeah, probably. There are some, um, what I call, what am I going to call it? They're, they're, they're hero trees that I haven't brought into the game yet uh, that I need to work on a little bit in Speed Tree. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe texturing up the trunks of those trees in Painter. I haven't decided yet. Um, at the moment, they're like then they have they were not modelled in Speed Tree. But what I'm thinking of doing is mo taking the model. They're, they're like gnarly, really gnarly sort of fantasy type trees. They're interesting shapes, but they're only the tree trunk and the dead branches. So I'm thinking about taking that trunk and branches into Speed Tree. So that I can then add leaves that are interactive in the wind. Um, and if I do that, then I also may take the trunks into Painter and see if I want to do an overpaint on them or not. Um, but I haven't decided yet. But yeah, basically, at some stage I will be doing some more wood tree stuff because I want these hero gnarly trees in the game, in, in a certain parts of the game. Um, Hellford says inside, oh, inside the house, no. No, not inside the house. Why would I put trees inside the house? <laughs> you want me to put trees inside the house? No, no. Uh, so yeah, the moss I've added just a little bit of. Just to sort of <laughs> knock back the metal a little bit. Um, well, we could add it to here as well if we wanted to, but I don't think it really needs it. Oh, let's add it and see what it looks like. It's easy to remove. Um, let's look at it on the bars. Yeah, see? Mm. It does knock the metal back a lot. Might, might be knocking it back a bit too much. Now let's see what it looks like added to the metal down here. Oh, 
I don't know, what do you guys think? I actually don't mind it added to the metal down here, it makes it look a bit more interesting. Yeah. Uh, if anything though, I don't know that I like it being added just up here. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know about down here. Um, Helpwood says not trees, but normal props with oh, with a wood material. Um, oh, maybe like maybe when we get down to the basement, I'll be adding more wooden props down there. So yeah, probably there probably will be a few bits and pieces when we get to the basement because we haven't put the basement in yet. That's the last room we're still going to do as part of the the actual house. Uh, we have we have hallway sections and other rooms past the basement, but that we still have to do as well. But yeah, we may, probably when we jump into doing the basement, there'll be some wooden furniture and wooden props that go down there. So yep. Yeah. Uh, Helpwood says could probably do a dope bonsai tree somewhere. Yeah, well these 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 stylized gnarly trees that I want to bring in, they look good as bonsai trees if you wanted to use them that way. But I'm not using immersed bonsai tree. Android Lust says, uh, I did not know Adobe has Substance 3D Modeler. I thought I, yeah, I haven't looked into that, but I did hear something about that. I've never used it. But I did hear about, yeah, when Adobe took it over not that long ago, they they released this program, which is like a 3D, 3D program, modeling program. I don't know what it's like. It's based on something else. It used to be called something else and Adobe renamed it. And I haven't used it. Yeah, Helpwood says I didn't know that either. Andrew Loss says actually it's a private beta right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I haven't. I, I did hear about it, but I've never used it, never looked at it. I was sort of like, yeah. I, I heard it mentioned. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I like the moss on this these bits down here or not what do you guys think with the moss down the bottom on the on the swirly bits or not no moss moss no moss Oh yeah, Smurf says aesthetically I'd, I'd, I'd want it to be on the whole bottom. I, I think he's talking about here as well, which is true. Uh, but if I add it here, it's going to add it to the bars and I'd have to go through. Creeping up with position gradient. It does, it does actually have a position gradient on it, which stops the moss from appearing too high up. It really should only be appearing down the bottom. Um, I don't actually know that it really needs it, to be honest. Like, what we could probably do is... Um, let's add a... Just added a paint layer so that we can paint in moss down here if we wanted to. Of course, we'd have to do both sides.
So we could do that. Which says the moss makes it stand out more, but I'm not sure it'll blend. But I'm not sure if it'll blend too much with the ivy. That's a good point too. Yeah, because we are going to be growing ivy over it. Andrew Dust says maybe the moss is a bit too light. Kind of looks like oxidized copper. All right, let's have a look at that. Um, this is the color here. I'm just waiting for substance to catch up. do is we might knock this back. Um, what we might do too is we might paint in a little bit more moss along the bottom here. Waiting for my brushes to regenerate here. We might just use the mold one. I'm just painting a little bit more moss through the bottom here. Healthwood says, Phil, did you get any issues with Twitch over playing Cyberpunk? I'm just curious, as you mentioned, it was a concern. No, because I did remove the stream. So, uh, yeah, I, no, I haven't. I didn't get any copyright strikes because I didn't leave the, um, I didn't leave a record of the stream on Twitch. I, I deleted it. And I, I normally upload my edited stream after the stream. I didn't do that either. So, no. I got no copyright strikes because generally what happens is you stream the game and then Twitch saves a copy of your stream so people can watch it back at a later date. And that's what the bots hit and give you a copyright strike on. They sort of they sort of like go through all the people's streams, uh, listen and find the music that's copyright and then they, they issue a, a strike. Um, but if you delete the stream, unless the bot is watching the stream, which they don't do, they can't do. Then you can't. They don't give you a copyright strike. They can't. So no, no, I didn't get one because I did. I did remove the stream after we'd finished. Just to be on the safe side, because yeah, I did read articles where where they said stream it. Where the yeah, streamer said basically, uh, even if you turn on that option where it's only supposed to play copyright free music. Uh, even turning that on doesn't it, it's copyright stuff still plays and you still you can still get a strike so I thought I'd be safe better safe than sorry uh, Helpwood says yeah that's fair I did get some issues earlier with a couple of old bods that I had saved yeah if, if they're going to get you they're going to get you on your old bods that you save on your stream 
if you don't save them or if you delete them then they can't get you because yeah the bots have to go through after the fact they can't do it live so. so yeah if you are a streamer and you are worried about it just delete your VOD after you finish streaming don't leave it up on your on your twitch page and you should be fine that's what I did because it, it, it's ridiculous. Twitch is a streaming game streaming service. I mean, yeah, it, it makes it very difficult to stream games if you're going to get a copyright strike for streaming a game. Uh, I understand you shouldn't be playing copyright music, but these studios, game studios, shouldn't be including copyright music you can't turn off. So, yeah, it makes it very, very difficult. Like, I'm glad I'm not a game streamer. That's all I, that, it, that I don't do it all the time because it's a nightmare when it comes to um, copyright. It's an absolute nightmare. See, the stuff I work on is fine because I make sure I use music that's copyright free that I have the right to use. And the things that I work on are my own work, so I don't have any, any issues with copyright. Um, yeah, game streaming, man, nightmare. But we do it occasionally, and I, I probably what will happen is if you guys want me to play a game on stream, um, I won't save those VODs. So I'll be fine that way. So I don't think, you know, don't don't stop from wanting to get me to play a game, because it's all cool. I just won't save those, those VODs to my page, that's all. Uh, Helpwood says exactly, at least when it comes to copyrights, Stuff since all this trash is automated, yeah. Uh, so there's just a super wide net, and if there's anything possibly, you'll get flagged eventually. Well, I, you guys know I upload my streams to YouTube. YouTube flags some of the music I play as copyright, even though I have the right to use it. But get this, it flags it as copyright, and it tells you, you know, which song, the song name and the artist name. And you, you can see, whenever a music is playing, I have the artist and the song name. And what it flags is a completely different song from what is playing. So then you have to contact YouTube and say, this is a false flag, you know, you're claiming this song, and if you look at the video, it's playing this song. And eventually it gets removed. But yeah, so these, these bots are pretty dumb. In the grand scheme of things, they're pretty, pretty dumb. And they will flag stuff as being copyright that's not. At least on YouTube, I do. Uh, I refuse to remove them, my music. Uh, I could because I, when I record my streams, I record the music track to a completely separate audio track from my mic audio. So I, I could completely remove the music and keep my mic audio and everything before I upload to YouTube. But I think, why should I? I have the right to play this music. It's your stupid bot YouTube that's too dumb to get it right and realize what's actually playing. So. And basically, all you have to do is send, you know, you, you, you dispute the claim, it sends something to YouTube and somebody reviews it and then they release the, the copyright thing, so. But it's just annoying. Annoying you have to do it to begin with. And because, yeah, like you said, it's all automated. So these bots just trawl through the internet for everybody's videos and try and claim anything and everything they can. Whether it's right or not. Uh, Snappy Girl says, yep, Android Glass says, such a shame. It is. It is a shame. Uh, um, look, I get I get if you're, a, if you're a music person, you don't want your music being used illegally. I look, I get that. But these bots don't do a good job. And they flag stuff they shouldn't flag. And, and if you're a game streamer, it makes it incredibly difficult for you to game stream and have a channel if you're going to get your videos flagged constantly. The copyright stuff. So I'd like game studios not to include music that's going to be copyrighted. To be, period. You know, whether it's GTA or whether it's Cyberpunk or whoever. Don't include music that's going to be copyright. Just pay independent artists that you can then get the rights to use the music for so that streamers don't get caught up in some copyright horror. Um, you know, so, you know, you're supporting local independent artists. You're not supporting some multinational artist that works for some multinational music company like Sony or whatever. Um, it's a much better way to go. But that's all down to the game developers doing it. 
Uh, Hellforge says when they first implemented the system before it was fine-tuned, they handed out strikes left, right and centre for anything they could possibly be copyright music. Yeah, YouTube have been pretty good recently. But I know when I first started uploading my mu my, my streams that had music playing in the background, I used to get strikes on videos left and, left and right for the wrong music. For music that wasn't even playing. It was completely wrong. The, the bots were completely wrong. So I don't know if you can hear that chopping in the background, but that's my next door neighbour over there in her kitchen chopping up. She, she must cook like six times a day. <laughs> um, Hellboard says YouTube is complete bullshit when it comes to false claims. Snappy Curl says, well, Android Lust says YouTube should just fix their shit. <laughs> I agree, they should fix their shit. They should fix their shit. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, Hellboard says, I think every content creator on YouTube has said th that multiple times. Yes, those clonk noises. That's right, Smurf. That's that's my next door neighbour over there, chopping in her kitchen. Because she, she does it six times a day. So she cooks and cooks and cooks and cooks and cooks. All she ever does is cook. Hellboard says, uh, I recall hearing something about one of their major esports tournaments getting a copyright strike because the ambient crowd sound got, sound got flagged as copyright music. <laughs> that would not surprise me. And that's very funny. Android Lust says, sounds more like throwing stuff against a wall. Yeah, no, she's chopping, chopping, chop, 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 chop. Uh, I believe she's an Indian lady, so she's often cooking with a lot of vegetables and things, so she's always chopping. Um, how are we going here? Okay, so we, I, I think I don't think we need, need any more moss growing on this gate, which really shouldn't have moss because it's metal, but anyway. Uh, but we do want to add a dirt layer. Hellwood says maybe she has a takeout business. <laughs> So she has to cook a lot of food. Well, it's she cooks often enough that you'd think that there was a restaurant next door. Like, she starts cooking at 5.30 in the morning. I know because I'm up. So 5.30 in the morning, she's chopping and cooking. Then at 9 o'clock, she starts cooking and chopping as well. And then between around 12 or 1 o'clock, she's cooking and chopping. And then at around 3.30, 4 o'clock, she's cooking and chopping. And then at around 6 o'clock, she's cooking and chopping. And then also around 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, she's cooking and chopping. So you tell me. That's every day. Every day. Android, Android Lust says, you should befriend your neighbours for free food. <laughs> Hellwood says, to make the uh, thick stacks of dosh. Smurf says, didn't some Twitch event get shut down because the live stream on the live performance was... Uh, the live stream of the live performance by the band got flagged. Yeah, I seem to remember hearing something like that about something like that as well, Smurf. Uh, Smurf says, a band that is known for playing their own music. Yeah, I, I heard that the band played their own song and got flagged for copyright. Smurf says, as most bands uh, want to do... Uh, wouldn't surprise me either, as Hellford says. Smurf says, I want to say it was Metallica, but it probably wasn't them. Yeah, I, I don't think it was Metallica, but it was some band, yeah, that did play their own music, got copyright striked for their own music. It's, it's a mess. I mean, yeah, it's a mess. The bots just aren't smart enough. They're too dumb. And unfortunately, it has a real impact on people's livelihoods if they rely on their youtube channel or on their twitch channel for income i mean it can be devastating if you get um copyright strike because if you get three strikes on twitch then they close your channel down you know and and it's very difficult to appeal uh sometimes as well so yeah it, it can be a real problem for people that rely on generating an income from their from being online because the bots are just dumb. They're dumb. They strike stuff they shouldn't be striking. It's a problem and it needs to be, be addressed and fixed. And I know that um, a lot of people have been making noise that Twitch should be 
licensing things so that people don't get copyright strikes when they're streaming on Twitch and stuff. And yeah, I don't know what the answer is, but something has to be done because it's uh, it's a problem. And it's a problem because the bots are dumb and they don't they, they strike stuff they shouldn't be striking. Okay, let's add a dirt layer now. That's I think the last thing we need to do here. So let's do a save. And then we'll add a dirt layer. Uh, Helpwood says the good side, however, is that we artists never have to worry about losing clients to AI because AI isn't smart enough to do, uh, decipher what the client wants. Yeah, no. There no fear of losing out to AI for any time soon because the bots are stupid. I mean, eventually they'll get better, uh, but at the moment they're pretty stupid and they have been for quite a while. Sometimes you have to wonder whether they don't do it on purpose as well, you know. Give people copyright strokes for no reason. Okay, let's add the dirt layers. And let's just maybe, 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 maybe. Let's just play with the, uh, the masks a little bit. the one I want. I'm just going to pull up a little bit here on the texture so we don't get such an even spread of the dirt. It's sort of added here and there a little bit more. Turn it off, you can see what I mean. Halfwood says no November is soon. You mean Movember? One of the few Twitter trends that I'm actually excited for. It's it's Movember, isn't it? Uh, Halfwood says never cared much for Sculptober or Inktober though. Yeah, it, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just Australia, but we have this thing called Movember where you grow a moustache uh, for charity. For the, for the month of November. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, how or not. Maybe it's something else. I just don't know. Something completely different. Oh, let's just do a quick save here. Oh, I wanted to show those images. So let's um, finish with the gate here for now. We can pick this up next week. Oh, not the next week, the week after, but I'm back tomorrow doing a just chat. Because uh, I want to check out um, the stuff you guys have posted in the Discord. Oh no, Helpwood says Node Bember started as getting people to post their substance design at Node work. But Blender artists flooded Twitter with stuff. Oh, okay, no, it's something I haven't even heard about. <laughs> Andrew Luss says, I like Inktober, but I don't want, but I don't do it. Uh, thank you. Yes, there's the Discord server if you guys and girls want to join the Discord. But I want to show some of the images that um, some of the guys and girls that are members of the Discord have posted. And uh, Wax Kink, we're going to start with Wax Kink because he's, he's <laughs> been creating so much work recently. <clears throat> That's so creepy. He's been doing a bit of Halloween stuff by the look of it. Super creepy. Uh, this is a, a, another angle of that head. 
even down to the drill running out of its mouth. That's gross. <laughs> uh, I love the model. The model is great. Elkwood says there's some super cool materials getting posted. Uh, I wish I could finish the bloody pistol I spent over a month on. Uh, Wax Kink has also done a Halloween pumpkin. Because who doesn't love one of these creepy pumpkins at Halloween? Uh, when is Halloween? It's the 28th, I believe, isn't it, guys, in the US? 28th of October, so in a couple of days. Two or three days. So the creepy pumpkin as well. Ooh. 31st. 31st, okay. October 31st, all right. Again, we we do it in Australia, but it's not as big as it is in the US. So not long for Halloween then. Um, and Wax Kink has also done like this spooky looking ghost, which again is creepy. I love the bit at the bottom. Again, nice, nice, nice modeling work and nice texturing as well. I, I like the stylized way he textures his models up. Lovely work, Wax Kink. Uh, Selfless One has posted some really, really interesting work as well. Um, this is uh, he, Wax Kink, uh, sorry, Selfless One says that uh, everything he makes is for, um, for Second Life. I didn't think anyone still used Second Life, <laughs> but I love this. This is amazing. Um, it's a brain case, ethically harvested. Uh, lovely, beautiful actually, I love this. Uh, I, I think it's a really interesting 3D model. I love the texturing work. Um, yeah, re really nice. I like I like this image a lot. Lots of cool props, yeah. Uh, this in particular looks really good. I really like that. Really interesting. Uh, he has also posted a sci-fi post kit. And again, guys, if you want to check these out in more detail, jump on the Phil Dust 3D Discord server. Yeah, and again, beautiful texturing, nice modeling, some nice detailing going on in there. So it's a sci-fi post. Uh, and what's this? This is uh, Stasis Masks or Stasis Tanks is the next one. Nice. Yeah, and again, some really interesting modeling, nice modeling, really interesting texturing going on too. Uh, this is probably my favorite though. I love this. I think that's really, really interesting. As a, as a portfolio piece, that's really interesting. Like if I was looking at your portfolio, and I, I look at a lot of them sometimes, um, this would stand out to me. So it, it's a memorable piece for your portfolio because it's not a gun, it's not a car. It's something unique and different. And the, and the colors as well really stand out. It's beautiful, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Some really lovely work there, um, Selfless One. Um, and it looks like he's been doing some texture work as well. So check those out on the Discord server. And this is a, an image from um, Snappy Girl's drone. Nice. Ooh, foggy. I, I love where you live, Sniper Girl. All of these trees, it just must be must be lovely. Because I, I live like, you know, sort of in a city and we have trees, but not like this. And we have parks and stuff, a lot of parks nearby. But yeah, it looks beautiful. Um, yeah, and, and the photo, photos from the drone are looking really cool. Um, I could, like, uh, I think... Um, Selfless one actually says that he's looking forward to seeing scans. I am too. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do with uh, photogrammetry from your from your drone, because it gives really nice images. I'm assuming the video is just as good as the image, so yeah. And I'm jealous of all the trees, and the fact that you've got a bathtub and a spa bathtub. Jealous, jealous of all those things. Not fair. Um, and what are we talking about here? Yeah, I didn't know Second Life was still alive either, Android Lust. Uh, Snappy Girl says Second Life is still a thing. Hellwood says I haven't seen him on here in over two years now. Who are we talking about? Selfless One. Android Lust says I was still in high school when I heard of that. 
Alfred says, is it a car gun? Dope volumetric, yeah. Barbie Girl says, was right after it, uh, after it was raining and it was quite a bit darker than it shows. Okay. Because it looks like fog. Like foggy, early morning fog. But the colours are nice in the photographs. And then the detail as well is really cool. Like you're getting a lot of detail in these pictures. Like if I sort of zoom in maybe over here on this green line. This is a problem with um, zooming in the web browser. You can't really have much control, but you can get quite close and still keep a lot of detail. So I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with the, um, the quality of the camera. Volumetrics Android Lust says yes, volumetrics. Volumetric fog. That's because that's what it looks like when you add it to a game. Um, I think we might leave it there though for today, guys and girls. I do want to thank you though for being here and hanging out and watching with me. I'll be back on again tomorrow and tomorrow is our Just Chat stream. So we'll be doing a Just Chat. See you tomorrow. Yes, so, so thanks guys for being here and hanging out. I will be back on again tomorrow. We'll pick up where we left off. No, tomorrow is Just Chat. Next week I'm not streaming and we'll pick up at the gate the week after. So Just Chat tomorrow. We can talk about whatever you guys want. Sniper Girl says, was wondering, can you add a reference section onto Discord? Um, well, yeah. What do you mean? Ask, ask me in the uh, mod chat. <coughs> what, cause I'm not quite sure what you mean by a reference section, Sniper Girl. But if you want to, if, if you think that it might be something we could add to the Discord, yeah, just, just ask me in the, in the mod chat on the Discord and, um, yeah, we'll talk about it there. Okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll be doing our Just Chat stream. See you guys.